Hello everyone, I'm Machine Gun Joe and we're doing the Doom 3 walkthrough. We're on Area 4 in this walkthrough. Area 4 I think is UAC Administration. Um, we got some doors locked. Pick up some health. There was a cutscene that happened that you won't be seeing in this video. As soon as you walk out of the elevator doors from the previous level, there'll be a cutscene. Um, I didn't include that in this video, um, but there is a hint in the video. One of the soldiers is opening up a briefcase and then closing it near the end of the scene. He's got a green glow to him. That's the, your first hint that there is the BFG 9000 coming your way. Um, as if we didn't know that already, there's always a BFG in a Doom game. So. Anyway, that cutscene happened, and then there was a Z-Sex soldier, I think, off to the left, right outside. After that cutscene, he's off to the left, you'll have to deal with him. Now that right there, again, I just love how they come out of the darkness like that. It's so cool. And we have a storage locker, but we grabbed a video disc, and we grabbed a PA, a PDA. Um, so we will have to, I will be looking through all of these throughout the walkthrough. I'll look at all the video discs, keep it in the video, as well as, you know, at least giving you an opportunity to pause through the emails. I skim the emails. If I, as I've said before, I have definitely, over time, read many, read these emails many times. Um, and they're worth reading. Um, it gives you a little bit of backstory. And some of them are really hilarious, um, especially if you work in an office. To they're the particularly lab. funny. Formerly designated um, Phase One by the Union the Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs Division. introduction the Alpha Labs began construction is on October pretty 29, interesting. 2095, Let's give this a and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading-edge technology such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocon, and Molecular Fuel Storage Compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much-needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Maybe if you're so inclined and you're really paying attention in the video, you can see that I'm having a difficult time with all these storage lockers, maneuvering the cursor to the right number um, to unlock these cabinets and doors. It's because I'm playing on the PS4 and therefore I don't have a mouse. I do think that just about every single game that can be played on a PC probably should be played on a PC. The trouble that the, the the drawback to playing on the PC to me is is how you're kind of positioned as you play the game. You're usually in a desk chair, which is you know, ergonomically a nightmare and just ridiculous. Um got a fat zombie that threw a barrel we should have shot that but we didn't um and you know you're kind of like hunched over anyway it it just usually leads to really bad um body posture and it's much more comfortable playing with a controller because um you're not f you're not in a fixed position you can play any way you want to because you're just holding a really small relatively small controller um, that's about the size of your two palm hands. Um, so, or the two palms of your hands, I should say. So, those are the drawbacks of playing on the computer and the, the benefits of playing on a console. But um, to reverse that 
its graphics, its more detail. Sometimes you do need a mouse, like if there's a strategy game, this is a first person shooter so it doesn't really matter. But if you're playing a strategy game where there's like a lot of clicks, there's a lot of hover and discover type stuff with your cursor, you want to be playing on the PC. Civilization is a really popular game series that's been around for, I don't know, 30 years almost now. And if you're familiar with that, um, that's a really good example. You can play Civilization on a console such as the PS4, and you can play it on the PC. That's a game where it's like, okay, this is obvious, this was meant for the PC and not the controller. It's just not as efficient. Um, but then again, you know, Civilization and this game, Doom 3, it's the kind of game that you're going to be playing for hours at a time. You may as well be comfortable doing it. Um, so Access that's denied. kind of why I just always lean towards playing things on um, the PS4. Plus they make the sharing of videos super convenient and super easy, even though you have to deal with, you know, their share factory uh, advertisements, which I could definitely delete, but I, I don't, just to let everyone know how I did make this video. Anyways, back to the game. Trying to see if we can jump through here. I know there's definitely a part in Doom 3 that we can. This does not seem to be it. Um, I, I could have sworn you can jump through here, though. There might be some differences between this and the PC. But this is the big Alpha Labs door. And, uh... We're not allowed to go through it yet, so there's the smaller door that we probably should go through. And when your game saves like this automatically, um, let's talk about getting lost here within the map, within the game for a second. Um, that save, that automatic save that happens, that's an indication that you're headed in the right direction. It's also an indication that uh, by that I mean, I should say that it's an unexplored area so far. Um, so therefore, it's an indication that you're headed in the right direction. It's also an indication that you're about to come up to a pretty serious event. Perhaps a boss of some sort. Um, or a mini boss. Or just a really difficult room to survive in. So, Or maybe it's a bit of platforming that usually leads to you falling in lava, stuff like that, um, if they think you're going to die a lot, they'll do the automatic save. That's what it really means. But, uh, so since those imps opened up this area, we're going to go through it. And by now, I've definitely gotten used to, well, except I didn't see him there, I've definitely gotten used to dodging the fireballs. Um, it just comes with practice. It won't take off a, a whole lot of health, even when you're on veteran difficulty. Um, but you still don't want it to happen. And um, yeah, I'm surprised it didn't take off more than three health points right there. That looks like I can actually do something with it, but I can't. Make sure you grab all this ammo. You'll also see me not using the flashlight a whole lot. Again, it's because I'm familiar with this game enough that I want to give it the more atmospheric type feel. Here's a Z-Sec soldier that we just dealt with. Kind of from a great distance with the shotgun. That's, that's amazing. There's definitely something we can do on this computer. Security override, definitely do that. And here is the boss. That concludes why we had that save, that automatic save point. So this is the introduction to Pinky, is what they're calling it, in this Doom. Um, It's going to try and bust through that door, but it'll really come around 
and go through the window. What I like to do is try and get out of this room immediately. And I try to do that without getting hit, and I fail to do that. Ugh, I'm just getting hit all over the place. There seems to be something behind me. Yep, an imp. So up this hallway, through this door, there will be an imp through there. So go the other way. Ooh, jeez. I didn't even know that this thing was coming. Another pinky is showing up. So it's probably best to go the other way. Go to the left when you get out of that small room. Believe me, you don't want to stay in that small room when the pinky is in there. Um, not a good thing. You're not going to survive. Alright, let's grab some health, see what else other items that I might be lacking around here. Seems to be it. Continue on here. So that door we can't go through, indicated by the red. The green lit doors, if there's green anywhere uh, on it, generally speaking means that you can go through it if it's red or it looks damaged. Not so. Usually when there's a zombie alcove, um, there'll be that appears out of nowhere. There'll be um, armor or ammo or health inside of it. So definitely check the alcoves, every one that you see. All right. Let's see what Jonathan's email say. So this is funny. Free stuff. So, you know, you should never open up an email that says that. Free stuff. <clears throat> but um, usually the emails will give you, like, the codes to the storage cabinets, as that one did. Or, I guess it doesn't do it, but um, they usually, you'll usually find the code in the emails that you find. Um, sometimes they'll be in the audio logs. It's always good to go through the inventory. Check that out. Um, Now, I'm not sure how to get this um, brought to you by Martian Buddy Free Stuff. Not sure how to get this. So, the email that we read does say go online and you'll see, you'll figure out the code for the storage cabinet. So, just go online and do that. But I want to get back to what we were talking about earlier, which was getting lost in these levels. If you do end up getting lost, a really good indication um, to let you know that you, you found the right path, like you went through the right door, is that an enemy appears. Um, that is hands down the number one indication to let you know. And here we have another automatic save moment, so we'll see what's in store for us here in a moment. But if you're going through a bunch of doors, you feel like you're lost, um, you would just, you know, when you come across an area that you're not sure if you went through or not, an indication that you haven't been there yet is when you run into fresh, brand new enemies. So people stay dead, basically. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. See, and did you hear that? 
a little bit of um, some radio signals. That's to indicate that we have a Z-Sec soldier right over here. And I did see this zombie. Um, uh, their like audio giveaway would be like kind of a grunting or some kind of a moan. But uh, usually it's like a, you know, and sort of the same um, sound that they make when they're swinging their arms at you. Look at this. So as soon as we pick up this PDA, here we go into sort of a, well, sort of a tough area. They're throwing a couple imps at us at the same time. And I want to say that this is why we had the automatic save point. Now that we dealt with that, I wonder who has time to put the candles up. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October personnel. 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. This news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between these cases and these reports of missing personnel. And right there I was a little lost and I know I'm headed in the right way because all these enemies are over here um, just a, it's a really good game design good indication I hate it when like they make um, a game like right now I'm playing um, it's 2019 late 2019 and I'm playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order it's so easy to get lost in that game like get lost within a level or a map um, and you'll just spend hours like just frustrated trying to like find your way and it has nothing to do with playing the game. Anyway, great game design. Let's go up this ladder here. Make sure there's no items. Don't see any. We just came up. We don't want to go down. Will this be open? Nope. So I guess we do have to Definitely go down. Don't like the sound of that. Oh. And then because we have that PDA. Oh, yep. And we'll go through the big Alpha Lab store that we found at the beginning. So we'll continue this on in the next video in Area 5. I'm Machine Gun Joe.